Feathers are varying in their structure and function. The wing feathers are made up of the scapulas, which cover the shoulder of the bird, the marginal coverts, primary coverts and secondary coverts, which overlap each other and help to smooth airflow over the wings and tail. The allula is not considered a flight feather, as they lack the length and stiffness of true flight feathers. The primaries are the longest and narrowest of the flight feathers. They can be individually rotated, which is important for flapping flight, as they are the principal source of thrust. Most thrust is generated on the downstroke of flapping flight. On the upstroke, the primaries can be separated and rotated, reducing the air resistance while still producing some thrust. The secondaries remain close in flight and can't be individually separated like the primaries. They help to provide lift by creating the airfoil shape of the bird's wings. They are shorter and broader than primary feathers with blunter ends. The flight feathers are also contour feathers which grow all over the body and wing along specific tracks. From the central shaft of the feather extend veins. From these veins are barbules and barbs. Tiny hooklets tie the barbules and barbs together. If the arrangement becomes disrupted, the bird uses its beak to draw the barbs and barbules back together. This is called preening. Elsewhere on the body there are other feathers that carry out a different function. Down feathers and semi-plume feathers fill in the spaces between the contour feathers. They are soft and fluffy, which means that they can trap air and create a layer of insulation next to the bird's body. Filler plume feathers are typically covered by other feathers. They function as pressure and vibration receptors. The bristle feathers are stiff and occur most around the base of the bill and around the eyes.